Hey everybody, how's everyone doing tonight? Happy Friday. Um, I'm in the kitchen tonight. Why? Because I'm gonna teach you guys how to make homemade beef jerky. That's one thing that I know how to make and I'm gonna teach you tonight. Okay, so first thing you wanna do, all right, you need to go out to your grocery store and you need to pick up uh, two lean cuts of meat, okay? And I've chosen steak, okay, as you can see. As soon as you get home, stick it into the freezer for two hours. That's going to allow you to uh, cut the meat uh, a lot easier rather than doing it as soon as you get home from the grocery store. Um, this way, with it having some firmness to it, uh, will make it a lot easier to cut. So I have done that. I've taken it out of the freezer, as you can tell. And uh, so we're going to start uh, cutting this into beef jerky slices. Okay, so, uh, but first of all, let's make our sauce or a marinade that you're going to need to marinate the meat in. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so the ingredients that you need to make your marinade, okay, you're going to need uh, garlic, okay. You're going to need soya sauce, Worcestershire sauce, um, Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. It's kind of hard to say that. Onion powder. And uh, chili flakes, which I already have measured out in a tablespoon. Okay, you're gonna need a bowl like this. All right, to put your uh, ingredients in to make your uh, marinade, okay? So the uh, first thing that we're going to add into the bowl is one cup of soya sauce, okay? Next thing we're going to add is one cup of Worcestershire sauce, okay? Next thing that we're going to add is one and a half teaspoons, okay, of garlic powder. Next thing we're going to add is one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. Okay. There's one. And a half. Okay. The next thing we're going to add is one tablespoon of chili flakes. We're gonna give this a good uh, stir. Okay, that's gonna be your marinade for marinating the meat uh, over 24 hours. Okay, this meat has been in the freezer for two hours, so it's got some firmness to it. Okay, so it's gonna be a lot easier to cut the meat. We're just going to cut it into beef jerky slices, okay? There's hardly no fat on this meat. If there is any fat on it, just cut it off or as much of it as you can. So what you want to do is you slice it again in the middle so you have two pieces like this okay we're gonna put it in our marinade okay. so here you can see we have uh, some fat parts of the meat and then we're gonna cut the, all of that off as you can see I'm cutting off all this fat here around around the sides of it. Making your own beef jerky though does take a long time um, because you have to cut your own meat and stuff. You know, it takes about a day and a half, you know, to make it so it's up to you if you want to make it or not. Making your own jerky too guys is, you know, it's messy. It takes a long time to make, but 
being able to eat it so fast. So this is going to be a two part video guys because after I've cut the meat it has to marinate in this for 24 hours okay or overnight is fine because I'm, I'm doing this really late at night here it's uh, 10 30 here at night so I'll take it out of the fridge uh, tomorrow well first thing in the morning what I'll do is I'll turn the bag over like this and let it marinate some more for another four or five hours or so on the other side just so that all the meat can get uh, marinated okay here comes the fun part you have to get in here and you have to just mix this all up by hand make sure all the meat gets some of that marinade okay once all the meat has been uh, through the marinade we're gonna put it in our Ziploc bags let me go wash my hands okay so uh, make sure that you guys wash your hands with like a disinfectant soap or um, something with the disinfectant anyways uh, because you've just been handling red meat um, and also uh, don't forget to wipe down your counter with a disinfectant wipe or a spray okay um, because some of the meat did touch the countertop so we just want to make sure that it gets nicely cleaned okay let's grab some tongs okay uh, probably gonna fill two of these okay these are the medium size Ziploc bags okay so we'll put that to the side here and we'll grab our bag number two Okay, so as you can see, we do have some sauce in here already. Okay, we're just gonna put a little bit more in here, and we'll put some more in this bag here. Okay, we're gonna seal up the bag. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to play the bag on that side here in the fridge. Okay, but you know, toss it around a little bit, get all that uh, marinated sauce and all over the meat. And uh, in the morning, when I wake up, I'm going to flip them over this way and then let them marinate some more uh, for another four hours after that. So, there you have it, guys. Like, I need a holiday after cutting all that meat. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, so, is it really worth it to make your own jerky? I don't know. It's fun, but it takes a long time. So it's, it's, I mean, I've been cutting meat for like 45 minutes. So we'll come back here uh, in uh, 24 hours or roughly. Okay. And uh, we will show you the next step. Like I said, okay. Um, so video magic. Let's go to the next step. <clears throat> so before we go on to part two here, do we have any questions? No? Okay, let's go to part two. All right, part number two. Meat has been marinating for 24 hours. Gonna take that out of the fridge and uh, we're gonna now put it on our dehydrator. You're gonna need one of these. Take a look. Okay, you're gonna need a dehydrator like this, okay? Mine is from Sultan, all right? And it has a temperature gauge on it okay make sure the one that you choose goes up to at least 160 degrees okay uh, Fahrenheit all right because that's the temperature you're gonna need in order for your meat to turn into a dehydrated meat okay and for it to be safe to eat all right so uh, pick up one of these um, I believe I paid uh, I think it was like seventy dollars for this one uh, years ago. Okay, that might be a bit more money now. I don't know, but it's a very good machine, uh, and it has lasted me quite some time already. I've made beef jerky in this uh, several times, um, and it's pretty good. So, all right, let's grab my meat. Okay, so first thing you want to do is uh, lay down some napkins 
or paper towel on your countertop and uh, put your tray down on it okay this way uh, if any uh, marinade sauce is gonna land or go through the tray it's gonna land on here and you can just toss it away okay we got our spatula and uh, here's our meat here been marinating for a while and it is going to be a little bit of a messy job here but you basically just want to lay out your meat now um, okay as flat as possible and it will take some time I'm just going to lay it out all around the tray here Okay, there's tray number one. We got one, two, three, four, four more trays uh, we can use. Um, after we've done that, we're just gonna put it right on our dehydrator. You see how all the marinade has dropped out <clears throat> out of the uh, bottom of the tray? That's the reason why you want uh, to put a, a paper towel down. Okay, we'll grab our next one. All right, we have our last tray here. But I want to just point something out to you guys. Do you see how I have the meat nicely spaced around the tray? You try not to have the meat touching, okay? Because airflow has to continually go through uh, when it's in the dehydration uh, process. Um, so airflow is important. Uh, that's why there's uh, these little cutouts in the plastic to allow that to happen. So try to space it out nicely, okay? so that you can have that great airflow. Here's my last tray. So it did four trays and a little bit here. So um, this is probably going to take about between four and six hours. Okay. My meat is actually quite thick this time. So it might take a little bit longer. Um, but what I do is after four hours, I'll rotate the trays. I'll put the top one at the bottom and then just rotate them so and then I'll probably leave it for another hour or two uh, after I've done the rotation of the trays all right uh, so we'll come back in about uh, between four and six hours and uh, hopefully we'll have jerky by then okay guys it's been about uh, four and a half hours now and we're just gonna shut it off and I'm gonna rotate the trays So I can tell it's almost ready already, um, just by the color of it. I'm gonna put them on again for about 45 minutes to an hour, and uh, we'll check on them again. But it is actually almost ready, just after being uh, four hours. The reason why you wanna rotate the trays is because all the heat is coming up from the bottom. So the higher the trays are, um, the less heat it's receiving. So um, that's why you want to rotate the trays because the last tray or the top tray is not getting that much heat. So we want to put that top tray at the bottom and so on and so on and so on uh, just to allow it to uh, dehydrate a little bit better from the tray that was on top. All right, let's give this jerky a taste. There it is. That's the color that you're looking for. Okay. Here it is. It, it smells great in here too. Which is, it's like come home for dinner smell. <laughs> here it is. It's actually very good. make your beef jerky today it's very tasty hope you enjoyed this video <clears throat> I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video I gotta go I got some jerky I gotta eat
I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.